How did Aryabhata invented zero? How did he get this idea? Aryabhata was one of the major mathematician astronomers belonging to the classical age of Indian astronomy and mathematics. Born in Patliputra Magadha, he is regarded as one of the greatest mathematician of all time. His famous works include the Aryabhatta, whose mathematical parts consist of topics on algebra, trigonometry and arithmetic, continued fractions, sum of power series, quadric equations and sign tables. One of his discoveries is the approximation of pi, which is given by him in Aryabhatta. Add 4 to 100, multiply by 8, and then add 62,000. By this rule, the circumference of a circle with a diameter of 20,000 can be approached. The calculation is obtained as 3.1416, which is close to the actual value of pi. 3.14159 Before going to the Aryabhatta's invention of zero, let's know a little bit about the Indian history of number zero. Archya Pingala, a Sanskrit scholar and an Indian mathematician, first used the Sanskrit word sunya referred to as zero. The word sunya means void or empty. It is believed that the first text to use the decimal place value system include zero was first used in Zen construct or cosmology named Loka Vibhaga. This is where the term Sunya was used. Vakshila manuscript and arithmetic manual on merchants records the symbol of zero which is a dot-like structure having a hollow structure signifying void or nothing. These manuscripts were bought off by radiocarbon dating, which is a method of determining the age of an object using radiocarbon in 2017. The ages were recorded to come from 224 to 383 AD, 680 to 779 AD, and 885 to 993 AD. This marks the world's oldest records of the application of the symbol of zero. In mathematics, there is a term called decimal place value system, also called positional notation. This means that the value of a number is determined by the position of the digit, that is the value of a number is actually the product of the digit by a factor which is determined by the position of the digit. For example, let's take three identical digits 999 here the interesting part is in the words the number is written as 999 the hundreds tens and the units here are being determined by the position of the digit that is the digit at the first place represents the unit second place represents the tens and the third place represents hundred similarly any digit at the fourth place shall determine thousands. This concept of the place value system, although was first used in Vakshali manuscript, held a very important place in Aryabhatta's work. But the symbol for zero was not used by Aryabhatta. The use of zero as a digit was first used in the India during the Gupta period. George Ifra, a French mathematician, stated that the concept and understanding of zero as a digit was first given by Aryabhatta in his place value system because the counting system of digits is not possible without the place value system or zero. Also calculation performed by Aryabhatta on square and cubic roots cannot be done if the numbers are not arranged in the accordance with the place value system or zero. This concept of zero is considered to be one of the best and the greatest achievements of the Indian mathematics. Now the rules for using zero as a digit was first introduced in Brahma's Putra Siddhanta by Brahma Gupta, whereas in some stances his rules differ from the modern rules, one being on dividing zero by zero, the result yields zero. So I am Pratiti Shah signing off 
for all today hopefully our information has provided you with an insight of indian origin of culture thank you and please support us by subscribing to our channel have a good day thank you